this is only a test. What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And today, I want to start off with thanking Robin, Shannon, Leonard, and Gail. They are the sponsors of today's episode. Well, I want to get right into it because this is not going to be a long one, but it's going to be one that explains some of the things that I've been saying. Many of you have heard me in my podcast say that when a police officer pulls a gun out on a citizen, it is an aggravated assault. Yeah, I want you to understand something. I'm going to give you the legal definition of aggravated assault. Because again, you're going to hear me say that word or that phrase more often than not in the next few videos that are coming. Now, for aggravated assault, the typical elements are, and the reason why I use the words typical elements is because for the most part, these are the three elements that will be present in each guideline that goes from state to state, city to city, county to county. These are the guidelines that will be used to determine an aggravated assault. These are also the guidelines in which if you are charged with an aggravated assault must be met when you're going for your defense. I'll also do a video of that later. But one, an intent to create an apprehension in another person. Apprehension in this case is used to create anxiety in another person. So when I say a police officer pulling a gun on someone creates anxiety in another person, that is aggravated assault. That is one element. An act that would likely result in the application of force with a deadly weapon or with some other means of force likely to cause serious bodily injury. Now, we've watched in several videos and we're often questioning why the use of force is being protected by police unions and okayed by police chiefs across the country. Because again, an act that would likely result in the application of a force with a deadly weapon, a nine millimeter Glock is a deadly weapon. It is a means that would likely cause serious bodily harm which is why it is labeled as a lethal weapon which is also why a lot of these people are looking to ban handguns because right now they're in the hands of those that are not capable of handling them properly when I say pulling a gun on a citizen is an aggravated assault I don't know how much more of a clear definition you will need but there's one more element the present ability to cause the application of force that would cause serious bodily injury pretty sure death is a serious bodily injury so understanding that when so I say a police officer is committing an aggravated assault when they pull a gun on someone it is a deadly weapon that can cause serious bodily injury which is literally the definition of aggravated assault because they're doing something that's going to create anxiety in someone it is a weapon that will be used with force and it is done in a mean that can cause or result in serious bodily injury now they're going to keep coming i'm gonna keep pushing i'm gonna keep going see you guys next time Keep donating. Apple Pay, Venmo, Google Wallet, and you know everybody's favorite, Cash App. And if you don't have it yet, hit the description. My link is in there. We both get paid when you use it. And it's fast and it's instant. Talk to you next time. If you're good at something, never do it for free.